We're gonna go over Lab 12, over the reproduction and develop it, and we're going to go over the ovary model, okay, on human development models. Okay, so let's get started. So first we have your germinal epithelium, which is these cells right here in the outside of your, um, your ovary. And then we have your corpus albicans, which is these white ones right here. It's corpus albican. This also is your corpus albican. This is the medulla, okay, where there's no follicles or no nothing really happening. And then this is the cortex, where there's a lot of action, where all the follicles are at. Okay. And then we have the oocyte. The oocyte would be these small little dots in the middle right there. That's also an oocyte. We have the ovarian arteries and veins. So here is your ovarian veins, the blue. And we have your ovarian arteries, the red, right? And then we have the corona radiata, and that's here around the oocyte that's about to escape the corona radiata. And then next we have your primary follicle. So your primary follicle is these ones right here, okay? your primary follicle and then you have your primordial follicle and those are these little ones small ones there's some on this side as well okay, primordial and then we have your secondary follicle which is a little bigger than your primary follicle so this is your secondary follicle then next you have your mature or graphene follicle which is this one the big and so this is your mature or graphene follicle. Then we have your corpus hemorrhagicin or the ruptured follicle, which is right here. You see here how it's opening, giving an opening out. So this is rupturing or the hemorrhagicin. Then we have your corpus luteum. This is your corpus luteum right here, the yellow one. So remember the white one was albican the yellow one is luteum, okay? So corpus luteum. All right, so that's for the ovary model. Next, we're going to do the pregnancy set. So right here, pregnancy set. Okay, so first we have the vagina. You have the vagina right here. So this opening right here, if it would continue, that would be your vagina. Okay, so this would be the vagina. And then we have the cervix. The cervix is right here. Okay. And then we have... It's your... the same for all the models. All the models. Oh yeah, it's the same for all the models. Cervix, okay. And then we have your uterine tube, which is right here. All right? Oh, can you see it? Yeah. Uterine tube. Or the fallopian tube also. Oops. And then they're on both sides, so we have two. Okay. Right here. Um, then we have our bra. Oh, let's see. Ovary. Ovary first. So let's see where we can see the ovary first. So this one right here, yellow. That's one. This is another one right here. Okay, that's your ovaries. This is probably a better view also. The ovary. All right? Yeah, so two of those. And then now we go to the broad ligament. So this is the broad ligament, okay? Kind of like holds the ovaries up and we have two of those on each side kind of like a wing mm -hmm. and then we have the where okay uterus so uterus and the myometrium so the uterus is the whole thing right this is the uterus this is a uterus this right here the thickest layer of the uterus is the myometrium 
okay? It's the muscle, myometrium. It has the blood vessels. You see the red and the blue? So yeah, that's the myometrium, the thickest layer of the uterus. Now we have the placenta right here. This purple, this purple here is the placenta. And the placenta is divided into two parts. One on the fetal part, so which is here, that's closer to the baby or the fetus. And then we have the maternal part, which is part of like closer to the mom's side. So this is the maternal part, okay? Maternal and fetal. Um, then we have the umbilical cord. This one right here, or also attached to the baby's belly button, or not yet belly button, but yeah. Right here, the umbilical cord, right here. And then we have the embryo. So the embryo right here, the smaller ones embryo and then this would be a fetus okay fetus is the larger one all right and then we have the am amnion the amnion is a fluid so that would be filling this cavity so the baby would kind of be swimming okay so it would be here and covering the baby or the uh fetus would be the amnion okay it's a fluid it's a fluid and it's inside the amnion cavity. So this here is called the amnion cavity and it's filled with amnion fluid, okay? I hope that's clear. So amnion cavity filled with amnion fluid. Um, and then your internal os. So your internal os is right here, okay? It's the opening on this end of the cervix. So like, ooh, right there. And then we have the endometrium is this one right here, the redder one, not the muscle, okay? It's just this red, doesn't have blood vessels. Here it'd be a lot clearer. So this red right here, it's your endometrium. All right, endometrium. And then we have the round ligament. So behind the uterus, there's these little Point, pointy little horns, okay? And that's your round ligament. Each of them have one. Let's see, the bigger ones do. See this one right here? The round ligament. You have two of those. Okay, and that's the problem. All right, what's up boys and girls of AP2 Lab? So today we're still going over Lab 12 of Reproduction and Development, um, but we'll be going over the embryo model, right here is the embryo model. So right here you have the embryo model. Let's start with the brain. So right here, from here to here you have your forebrain. From here to here you have your midbrain. And from here to here you have your hindbrain. So all of those make up your brain forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain, right here. Um, this little hole right here, that makes up your nose, so that's your nose. Right here, it kind of looks like an eye, so that's your eye. These, um, all these arches right here, they make up the branchial arches. Branchial arches, you have right here, these two bumps right here, those make up the heart. This bump right here makes up the liver. This is your arm bud. And this is your leg bud. And then right here you have your vertebrae. And that's it. 